let me show you how to change or add an admin on your Facebook pages. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, I show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm here on my Facebook profile right now, and we want to get to the pages and show you how to add remove or change an admin. First thing you want to do is you need to actually switch over to the page that you are wanting to do this on. So like I said, I'm on my profile here right now. I'm going to go to the top right area and I'm going to change this to my Facebook page. So for me, I'm going to click on all profiles and then my page right here, which is Esatino Media. Click on that. You need to function as the page. So I am now acting as my Facebook page and you can see here, now I'm gonna go to the left hand side and click on my actual Facebook page. I'm still acting as the Facebook page. I'm gonna click on manage. Then on the left hand side, under your tools, you wanna click on page access. From here, this is where you manage and add and change admins. So if you click on add new, it's going to give you some things. So it means Facebook access means, and then it's going to say you can switch into the page directly on Facebook. You can take actions on this page. So I'm going to click next. And then from here, you would type in the name of the person that you want to add as an admin. So I'm just gonna click X out of that. So that's here in this section that says people with Facebook access. From here, there's people with task access. And if you hover over the information button, it said these people can't switch into the Facebook page, but they can manage certain tasks. So, so you can give them the full access, which is the Facebook access or just the task access. And the same thing goes, you would click add new. And if you want to delete someone, just click the three dots here and then go to remove access. And then it's going to say this person will no longer have access. You have to punch in your password and then click confirm. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and shout out to Rick Silva for helping me out with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.